Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss six very simple but very very useful functions of Microsoft Excel. The six functions that we are going to discuss in this video are left, right, mid, find, len, and concatenate function. We will discuss these four examples and hopefully we will be able to learn the use of all these six functions just by discussing these four examples. So the first example, here we have different truck numbers. And suppose I have been exported this data from my system. And as I have been exported this data from system, this truck number format is not correct. The correct number format that I need is this. I want four in the, uh, I want integers at first, then I want one space and then uh, alphabets at last. So how I can convert this format into this my required format. For that, I will use these two functions first of all. Just let me highlight these two functions. I will use right and left function. Here I will use right function. What right function do? Right function actually separates a specified number of characters from right side of a string. So uh, the first argument here is I need to give this right function text or the cell in which I have my required data from which I want to separate specified number of characters from right side. So I have been selected this cell in which I have track number then I will insert comma and then I need to give number of characters that I want to separate. So as I want to separate here from right side, I, I want to separate these integers and these integers are 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I will write here 4, I will close, bra close bracket, I will press enter and here you can see right function has been separated 4 characters from right side. I will drag it down and now we have integers from all truck numbers, we have integers in separate column and now we need to separate these alphabets from left side. So we will, we will use here left function. Left function do same thing as right function have done already, but it will separate specified number of characters from left side. So we will select this cell from which I want to, we want to separate uh, characters from left side. So we will uh, insert comma and uh, you can see here as we want to separate alphabets and alphabets in all cells are three. So we will sell uh, right here three. We will close back it and now you can see left function has been separated three characters from left side. We will drag it down and now we have all alpha uh, alphabets from all truck numbers in separate column. Now what we need to do, we need to combine this, these integers and these alphabets in this format. How we can combine this data from uh, different cells. For that we will use concatenate function. Concatenate function is actually used to combine data or to bring data together from different cells into a single cell. So what we will do in concatenate function, we will select first cell then we will uh, insert comma then we will insert here one space between these uh, uh, inverted commas or between these quotation marks then we will insert comma again we will select second cell we will close bracket now what concatenate function will do concatenate function will bring everything in same order it will bring data from c2 cell then it will give us one space then it will bring data from this d2 cell so let me show you i will press enter and here you can see we will drag it down and here you can see this is our required answer. We can also use just and sign in place of concatenate function. Just let me show you. We can uh, use here. We will insert here equal sign and then we will select here first cell. Then and sign. Then uh, space between these quotation marks again and sign and then we will select second cell. And now you can see this is same result that we got with concatenate function. So means we can also use and sign in place of concatenate function. So you can see here this is same result. So now concatenate, concatenate function is also done. Now next example. In next example we also have vehicle numbers but there is one thing it is different. Here you can see in first example in all for all truck numbers number of characters are same. Here you can see three alphabets and four integers. So means seven alphabets uh, seven characters in each cell. But here you can see first seven characters but in second we have three alphabets but three integers means six characters in total so here is problem we don't have specified number of characters so what we need to do here one thing is common a uh, number of alphabets is same in all cells so what we will do first of all we will simply separate these uh, alphabets we will select this cell comma and three close bracket as number of characters in all these cell uh, number of uh, alphabets in all these cells is 3 so we will just drag it down and now we have separated alphabets from all these vehicle numbers 
now we need to uh, find out that how many number of characters in each cell so that we can separate uh, these numbers also so what we will do we will use len function that will count number of characters or length of string in any cell so we have been selected this cell we will uh, press enter and here you can see number of characters in this first cell is 7 when we will drag it down it will give us length of string in all these cells here you can see in second cell we have 6 characters then 7, 7, 5 and so on so now how we can separate these numbers or these integers from this vehicle number or these uh, truck numbers or vehicle numbers are from these cells so just let me show you we will use a write function then we will select cell from which we want to separate specified number of characters from right side we will insert comma and now what we will do we will just select this total length of string or, or total number of characters minus as we know that number of alphabets in all cells is 3 so we will simply minus number of alphabets that is 3 we will close bracket so remaining number of characters will be uh, integers so we will press enter and here you can see these are just integers that we have been separated just we will drag it down and you can see here these are just integers and then we can simply uh, bring this format uh, simply by using concatenate function or and sign so just uh, speedily we will do this first cell and sign then space again and sign and then oh sorry and sign and then second cell and here you can see this is our required results so now let's move toward third example third example is something more difficult than first and uh, second example as here we don't have anything in common we have here list of full names and from these full names we need to separate first name and last name but here we don't have anything in common as here we had total uh, number of strings or number of characters in each cell we had common here we had number of uh, alphabets in each cell we had common but here we don't have have anything common so how we can separate first name and last name uh, if we see here here is one thing is common first name and second name is separated by one space so mean we need to identify or, or we need to find location of that space between first name and last name so for that we will use find function find function we will select what we want to find as we want to find space so we will right here space between these quotation marks we will insert comma and then we will select the text or the cell in which we have text from which we want to identify location of space we will close bracket and here you can see space is on seventh location seventh number we will drag it down and here you can see in this a full name space space is on fifth location so mean first name will be before this location if space is on seventh location first a name uh, from this full name will be finished on six number so what we will do as first name is on left side so we will use here left function then the text from which we want to separate uh, number of characters from left side we will insert comma and what we will do we will select this on, on space location of space minus one and here you can see this is first name we will just drag it down and here you can see this is Jack first name Harry first name so means we have been successfully separated first name from all these full names now we need to uh, separate last name what we will do we will use write function then we will select text from which we want to separate number of characters from right side then we will insert comma then how many number of characters we want to separate from right side now actually what we will do we will just simply use len function so that len function can calculate total number of characters uh, sorry total number of characters oh, what i have done sorry, sorry. we will use here write function and in write function we will select the cell again we will insert here comma and now we will use here len so that len can calculate total number of characters in the cell and then we will close bracket and now total number of characters minus this number of characters are up to space because we need to ignore total number of characters up to space because second or last name starts after space so we will minus we will select this seven so we will close bracket and here you can see this is second name or last name sorry so now we have last name of all these full names so this was third example and we have been discussed here find and land function till now 
now last example and mid function is left to discuss so uh, for this is you can see here this is contact number but our required what we want to do we want to separate area code here these first two integers are country code then one space then two integers here you can see these two integers are area code this we want to separate here you can see one two three on fourth location we have here uh, our area code is started in each these contact numbers so what we will do as here we want to separate these two integers these two integers are in mid of this complete string so what we will do we will use mid function and then from which we want to separate text or characters from mid of string from this cell then we will insert comma and then what is starting number as our area code is starting from 1 2 3 4th number so we will write here 4 as our required area code is starting on 4th number then we will insert again insert comma then number of characters how many number of characters we want to separate as our area code is only two numbers so we will write here two close bracket and here you can see this is area code we have been separated from mid of contact number so we will drag it down so now this is list of our area code from these all contact numbers so we have been also discussed this our last function so friends that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button also share this knowledge with your friends and if you don't understand anything please mention in below comment section i will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching bye bye